Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through Maths IGCSC paper 33 May June 2019. Today we will be going through IGCSC Mathematics paper 3 core 058033 May June 2019. Question number 1. Write this number in figures 1,302,596. So 1,302,596. So this will be our answer. Keep our two numbers are added together to give the numbers in the box immediately above. So this plus this is 2. Similarly, this plus this will be minus 7 and this plus this will be minus 5. Mm, two numbers are multiplied together to give the number in the boxes immediately. So 5 multiplied by minus 3 will be minus 15 and minus 3 multiplied by minus 4 will be plus 12. And 12 multiplied by 12 multiplied by minus 15 will be equal to minus 180. So it will be minus 180 over here. Then complete the diagram. We have done this. So C part right. These in order of size starting from the smallest. So ascending order we have to write. So first we will change into uh, decimal values like 5 um, 5 divided by 27 5 div divided by 27 will be so we can check the decimal values for example 5 divided by 27 is equal to 0 0.0.1851 0 .1 and 18.4 percent 18.4 and percent will be equal to 0 point 0 point 184 similarly this one 1 1.83 into 10 raised to the power minus 1 this will be equal to 0 point 183 0 point 183 similarly 5 raised to power minus 1 5 raised to the power minus 1 will be equal to 0 0.2 this will be 0 0.2 so the biggest number is this one first we'll check the smallest one smallest one will be 0 0.183 this is the smallest so we'll write here 1.83 into 10 raised to the power minus 1 similarly the second next one is uh, this one, one zero point one eight four, so eighteen point four percent. And next number is this one, which is five by twenty seven. And the last is this one, which is five raised to the power minus one. Now, D part, work out one forty two as a percentage of three hundred four. So we can write one forty two divided by three zero four into percent we mean 100 so this will be calculated as 142 over over 304 and multiply by 100 this will be equal to 46.7 so our answer will be 46.7 find the highest common factor of 28 and 98 so common factor of uh, 28 we will write Factors of 28 will be 1, 2, 4 and 7 also is dividing 28, 14 and 28. These are the uh, factors of 28. Similarly, factors of 98 also we can write. This will be 1, 2 and this is divisible by 7 as well and then 14 also and 49 also this is divisible by 49 and 98 as well so this is the number which is common in both so this will be the small uh, highest common factor basically and find the lowest common 
multiple of 28 and uh, 98 so 28 multiples of 28 will be 28 then 28 multiply by multiply by 2 will be equal to 56 then multiply by 3 multiply by 3 will be equal to 84 then multiply by 4 will be equal to 112 and then next number is multiply by 5 will be equal to 140 140 side by side we will be doing 98 multiplication of 98 as well but we can do some more numbers 6 will be equal to 168 168 then 7 will be equal to 196 and this one also we can multiply 98 multiply by 1 will be 98 then multiply by 2 will be equal to 196 and 196 is there in both so our answer will be 196 uh, f part the average distance from earth to mars is 2.25 this is given kilometers and spaceship travels uh, to mars at average speed of this one we know speed is equal to distance over time and we have to calculate the uh, time taken so time taken will be equal to distance divided by speed and distance is this one so we'll copy 2.25 into 10 raised to power 8 and divided by speed which is 5.8 into 10 raised to power 4 and rest is simplification so 2.25 into 10 raised to the power 8 and divided by 5.8 into 10 raised to the power 4 so this is equal to 3879 3879 this will be our answer now question number 2 this is a transformation question diagram is given three equilaterals are shown and grid is 1 centimeter square and a b and shaded uh, uh, quadrilateral is also provided and the question a part is write down the mathematical name of sh shaded quadrilateral write down the mm, mathematical name of shaded quadrilateral this is we know this is trapezium basically this one shade this is trapezium so we can write here trapezium e z i u m trapezium and then next page is having the rest of the parts for the shaded quadrilateral measure the perimeter so perimeter one this is each is one centimeter one each box so this will be one two three four five so this side is five this side is one two three four so we can write this side four this side is two centimeters now this side we can check this triangle if we take this triangle this will be one two three four and this side is three so four square plus three square under root will be by pythagoras theorem this will be equal to 16 plus 9 under root which is 25 under root and you can say this is 5 this side is 5 so if we add all these 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 4 will be 14 and 14 plus 2 will be 16 so our answer will be perimeter is 16 we will write here work out the area area also we can work out like uh, if we see this up to this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 um, centimeter square and this will be if we check this complete uh, rectangle this will be 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 so 12 half of this is shaded so 6 are these triangles 6 plus 8 will be 14 so our answer over here will be 14 centimeter square describe fully the single transformation that maps the shaded quadrilateral on to quad uh, on to equilateral on to quadrilateral a basically 
so we have to see this one um, translate shaded on to a shaded on to a so it's just same and location is changed so from this one one two three four five six seven eight nine units left so nine units left will be minus nine and if we see this is uh, down also if we check this one one two three four five six seven eight units down so minus eight this will be translation matrix and we will write here translation translation and matrix we have already written next is on quadrilateral b so quadrilateral a on b and this one is rotated and this is rotated about we can check also for uh, rotation we can use the tracing paper and we will be checking how much it is rotated so for example we can use this tracing paper over here and this one from this one right so we can trace this one after tracing this we'll be tracing the coordinate axis as well so this is the coordinate axis if we check from origin check from origin and rotate so it will fit over here so again starting from here rotation clockwise 90 degree so we will write here rotation 90 degree clockwise about origin answer space is this one so it is rotation rotation clockwise 90 degree about origin which is 0 0 on the grid reflect the shaded quadrilateral in the line x is equal to 1 so this is the shaded quadrilateral and line x is equal to 1 we have to draw x is equal to 1 is this line so we can draw this line over here dotted line this is the dotted line now we have to deflect this for reflection we can use again this tracing paper and this will be reflected now about this line so we'll be taking care of this line and now this reflection will be like this it will be inverted and x is equal to one line we are fixing over here and these are the points which we are getting and we can mark these points this will be our answer these are the points these basically over here again i will fix so this one this one and the last one is this one so we can join these points we can check distance from here one two units and this is one two units so this is correct and one two three four units one two three four units so this is also accurate and you can see it's mirror image of this shaded triangle uh, sorry quadrilateral over here this is done and then next part next part is this one enlarge the shaded quadrilateral by scale factor half one by two center uh, minus one and zero so we have to enlarge this shaded triangle this is about minus one about minus one and zero so minus one minus one is this one and zero is this so we will be using this point and 
will be taking it as center and drawing the lines touching to the corners of the shape like this one we can draw from the same point we are drawing all the lines and over here as well the last line this one now what we will be checking uh, if you check this is one and two units we'll have to check here where we'll get only one unit see this is less than one unit this this is one unit this is more than one unit so our two points this point will be shifting to this one this point will be shifting to this one and the rest this is one two three four units so this will be one and two units so this point will come to here and this one also this is how many one two three four five so it will be one two and a half so this will be the point and we can join all these points which we found this one and this one and this one and we can join this finally so you have seen for this uh, shaded uh, quadrilateral all corners are on these lines and for this one also corners are on the same lines so it's reduced to scale factor half and if you we can shade this and you can clearly see the reduced image of this quadrilateral hopefully you understood each and everything this question is done now question number three the music teacher at a school forms an orchestra uh, the instruments in the orchestra are 36 strings there are 36 strings 15 uh, woodwind and 12 brass the mm, write the ratio of these three in the simplest format so this is 36 ratio 15 ratio 12 and we'll have to check that all three numbers should be divisible by one number and that is uh, like three so this is divisible by three it will be four this will be five and this will be twelve so our answer will be twelve five and four this is the simplest ratio for the simplification is not possible mm, the 36 string instruments are violin violin cellos and double bass basses in the ratio of this one ratios are also given so that the number of violin is 27 so 30 total are 36 out of 36 we, we will divide these 36 according to the ratio sum of ratios is 9 10 11 12 so we'll divide this by sum of ratio we will get um, portion for one part so this will be equal to 3 so each part is having 3 this is having 3 this is having uh, 6 and this is having 27 but we require only violin and violin is 9 so 3 multiplied by 9 is equal to 27 this is what we were supposed to show which we have done work out the number of cellos uh, and the number of double bases cellos cellos are in which in ratio 2 so each one portion is 3 so 2 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 6 and double base double base will be uh, one portion so one portion multiplied by 3 will be equal to 3 so our answer will be 3 c part the 15 wood wind instruments are obvious flutes and this one three instruments difficult names but you you can spell it 20 percent of these instruments are obvious these are uh, twice as many flutes and uh, clarions so find the number of flutes now in this case 20 percent 20 percent of 15 20 percent of 15 is equal to what we will have to calculate so this will be 20% of 
15 will be equal to 3. So this is 3. 15 minus 3. 15 minus 3 will be 12. So 12 are the other two flutes and this one. 3 are this obvious. We, we can write here obvious. This one is equal to 3. And 15 minus 3 are 12. 12 are two categories. One is flutes. And the other one is basically we require to just flutes, but flutes are double than the other. So we can split this number into 8 and 4. So 8 plus 4 will be 12. We have divided 12 into such two numbers so that one number is half of the other or uh, this number is double of this. And double number is of flutes. So flutes is equal to 8 and we can write here answer as 8. In the 12 brass instruments 1 by 3 are trumpets. So, trumpets trumpets is equal to 1 by 3 of 12. So 1 by 3 of 12 will be 4. 3 4 is 12 right. So this will be trumpet will be 4. Then the other one is trombones. So this will be a three. Th there are three. So this will be in total it will be four plus three will be seven. So total are to twelve brass instruments. So twelve minus seven will be equal to five. So these are horns, so you can write here H, so horns are equal to 5, our answer will be 5. Now this uh, E part, the music teacher needs to buy all the instruments for the orchestra uh, and they have given this table cost, we are calculating just multiplication, it's simple. Like 36 into 131 is equal to this answer 4716. Similarly, we'll mul multiply this 15 into 217 is equal to 3, 2, and 5, uh, 5, and 12 multiplied by 221. This will be equal to 2652. Complete the table. We have done this. Find the total cost of all the instruments. We have to add them all. So 4716, 4716 plus uh, 3255 plus 2652. Uh, and we can add these numbers. This will be 4716 plus 3255 plus 2652. This will be adding up to. 10623. 10623. So 10623 will be the total cost. The school is given 65% of the total cost. So we'll have to calculate 65% of total cost, which is 10623. And this will be equal to it's already there. So multiply by 65 and divided by 100. This will be equal to 6904 6904.95 6904.95 now they are saying 65 percent of total cost and the school is given 65 percent of the total cost of the instrument find how much more money is needed so total cost is this one 10623 minus this which is already given so remaining amount will be how much 10623 minus answer will be equal to 37 and 1 3700 701.05 so we can remove this equal to sum from here so it will be 5 over here okay hopefully you are following your understanding each and everything I'm trying to explain this is 
the question number four, which is uh, graphs question. Basically, this is we a table is given. We have to just replace the value and uh, equation is this, and we have to replace x is equal to minus two. I will replace one value and the rest of the values you will be replacing. So minus two minus uh, in brackets minus two whole squared. This will be equal to minus three. Similarly, you can replace the other values. These two values to save time. I'm just copying these two and then we'll have to plot these points first value is minus 2 and minus 3 minus 2 is this one and minus 3 is over here and this is the point which we can put cross over here and then minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and positive 2 will be over here and 0 and 5 0 and 5 will be in the middle this point 0 and no sorry 0 and 5 5 is I don't know why I have crossed the, in the middle it was here okay 0 and 5 then 1 and 6 1 and positive 6 will be this one then 2 and 5 2 and 5 again over here and 3 and 2, 3 and 2 will be at this location and 4 and minus 3 will be over here. Hopefully you have seen all these points which you have marked. So I think so this point is not matching with this so this is second number minus 1 and 2 yeah this point should be over here minus 1 and 2 so I will remove this point you can check the balance also like this is uh, basically quadratic graph and coefficient of x square is minus so it's opening down and quadratic graph is this one it should be in symmetric so wherever you just see the points are not symmetric you can check that point so that you can avoid any mistake also so I'll be explaining these quadratic graphs and or cubic graphs and other graphs separately in uh, topic wise video. So we can smoothly draw lines like this one. So this will be turning smoothly. done next we have to join this last one last one will be like this so relatively smoother so we have drawn these this curve and four marks question for uh, drawing this graph on the grid draw the line of symmetry C one part line of symmetry you can see uh, this is the line of symmetry both sides of the curve are uh, symmetric same so we can draw this line of symmetry over here dotted line and this will be x is equal to 1 so we can write here write on the equation of line of symmetry so it will be x is equal to 1 then next part use your graph to find the solution of this equation if you check this part of the equation this part of the equation is matching with this so we can write this as y is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 will be which line y is equal to 4 we can draw this line over here this will be y is equal to line then 
after drawing this y is equal to 4 line, they are asking for these two x values. x values we can check from here. If we use scale for tracing x value, I'll just move a little up so that you can see the values as well. So this is exactly at 2, uh, not at 2, this one. So we have to check this. So this will be over here. This is 2.2, 2 2.4, 2.6. So this will be 2.6 and this one will be over here. This will be 0 0.4. 0.4 so we can write down these points uh, this side will be minus 0.4 this is minus 0.4 and this is 2 point 2 point basically 2.24 and it's in the middle we can write 2.5 or even 2.6 will also work that is not an issue so we can write here minus 0 0.4 and 2.5 which is positive on the grid draw line from this to this these are two points so minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and 2 is this point right it's already marked so i will circle this one and the second point is 1 and 6 so 1 and 6 is this one. So these two uh, points we have to basically join them. So we cannot extend more than that. We'll have to just join this point and this point. So this is the line required. And then they are saying uh, find the equation of the line in form of y is equal to mx plus c. If you see this line, this line is passing through this point 4. So y intercept is 4, c value is 4. So we can write here c is equal to 4. And we have to check the gradient also. For gradient, we will be considering this triangle. We know slope is equal to rise over run. So we can show this triangle, how we have calculated. And this is the triangle which we are using for calculating gradient. This side is um, 1, 2, 3, 4 units. This side is 4 units and this side is 2 units. So 4 by 2, m is equal to 4 by 2, which is equal to 2. So gradient is 2 and y-intercept is 4, m is equal to 2. So y is equal to m x plus c. So y is equal to 2x plus 4 will be our equation. Hopefully you understood this straight line question as well. Now question number 5 which is the scale drawing um, shows a play area a, b, c, d, e. a, b, c, d, e. The scale is 1 centimeter represents 3 meters. 1 centimeter is representing 3 meters. Find the actual distance h in meters. Actual distance h we will measure with the, with the scale and uh, ruler. And after measuring we will multiply it with the scale factor which is 3. So if we measure this distance. So this is 3.5. Three point five. So it is three point four or five. So this we can take three point five. Three point five multiply by uh, find the actual distance of h. So we can write here three point five multiply by three. This will be equal to three point five multiply by three will be equal to ten point five. So we are getting 10.5. Keep in mind this is published paper and this is not of the same size which, um, which students got in examination hall and the marking scheme is also according to the, the actual paper. 
so this is this diagram is having some difference in marking scheme they have given this uh, range answer of the range as 10.8 to 12 so if we are taking like for example 10.8 so 10.8 divided by 3 so their measurement of this height is 3.6 basically so 3.6 or 3.7 like that so if we take the uh, marking scheme measurement i will solve that one also like for example 3.7 if you are taking so you can multiply 3.7 by 3 and you will get 11.1 uh, which is within the range of the marking scheme so this multiply by 3 you will get 11.1 so i will mention here the answer 11.1 but i have solved this drawing also and this is for marking scheme hopefully you understood the concept size of the like height of the edge can vary but according to that one you will have to just multiply by scale factor which is in this case 3 so just multiplying we will get uh, answer uh, find the actual area of the triangle area will also be having variation um, between the published uh, questionnaire and the actual questionnaire um, area of triangle we know is equal to what area is equal to half into base into height so base is um, we can measure the base as well in this case we are having base as 11.3 so we are having this base as 11.3 11 11 centimeters so similarly we can multiply 11.3 multiply by 3 will be equal to 33.9 uh, 11.3 uh, yeah 11.3 will be 33.9 half into base which is 33.9 multiply by uh, height which we we have already taken 3.5 uh, basically 3.5 will be 10.5 after converting 10.5 so this will be equal to 33.9 multiplied by 10.5 uh, will be equal to this one and divided by 2 will be equal to 177.97 uh, we can write 178 in the marking scheme they have because measurements are different so they have given answer uh, range like 191 to 270 according to that one you, you can check and solve that one also but we can i'm writing here this drawing um, area which is 178 uh, so 178 meter square c part a straight path crosses the play area from c to a b it is equidistant from c b and c d so from c it is crossing this one it is equidistant from CB which is this one and CD which is this one so we have to check angle bisector of this angle bisector we can uh, we can bisect this angle by use of compass we will be keeping over here and we will be making an arc up to this one you will have to sharp use sharp pencil and make very neatly and then open more and you'll have to put here and here you can press so that you can have a proper fitting place and this arc and the same size we'll be keeping and making another arc so we got this one 
you will have to keep these arcs and you will have to draw this um, basically this line will be joining through this one so this is like angle bisector which we have drawn and it should touch to AB because we are supposed to find that point AB so I will touch this one so this is the point I'll go through the question again use the straight edge and compasses only a straight path crosses the play area from C to AB it is equidistant from this one so construct the path so we have already constructed this path D part there is a circular pool in the play area the pool has a diameter of 8 meter calculate the circumference of the uh, circumference of the pool diameter is 8 mean radius will be equal to 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 so circumference will be 2 pi r 2 pi r mean uh, 2 into pi into r will be 4 so 8 pi 8 multiply by pi will be equal to 25.13 so 25.13 will be our answer the area of the pool pi r square pi r squared and r is 4 so pi into 4 square which is 16 pi so 16 pi will be equal to 50.27 or 3 50.3 50.3 we can write here 50.3 as answer now question number 6 a part um, in the diagram ABC is a straight line ABC is given as a straight line uh, AD is parallel to ABE AD is parallel to BE and angle BAD BA, BAD is 34 and AB is equal to BD these two are equal it means these two angles will be equal this is 34 so this is also 34 it's easy equilateral triangle so uh, not equilateral sorry isosceles triangle so p value is required so this is 34 degrees 30 uh, reason reason is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle isosceles triangle then next is Q. We need to find Q. Q is this one. Uh, for the for this triangle ADB, for this shaded triangle, this one. We have this one 34, 34. So remaining angle we can calculate. 34 plus 34 means 68. So 180 minus 68 will be equal to 112. So this R is 112. R is also required if you check B part R is required 112 degrees we can write here. Then this angle this is parallel to this and this angle and this angle will be equal. This is 34 this will also be 34. So Q is equal to 34 degrees as well and the reason is alternate angles alternate angles then work out this one r we have done s is remaining s will be this one this is 90 degree so 90 plus 34 90 plus 34 will be equal to 124 so total uh, triangle is having 180 180 minus answer will be equal to 56 so this will be 56 so s is equal to 56 no reason required for this then find the value of t find the value of t and give a reason for this answer and t is this one if you see this is straight line which is given a b c is a straight line these two angles are known we can find the third one 
सो हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व प्लस थर्टी फोर इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी सिक्स सो वन एटी माइनस आंसर विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी फोर दिस इज ऑल्सो थर्टी फोर डिग्रीज थर्टी टी इज थर्टी फोर डिग्रीज एंड द रीजन इज एंगल्स ऑन अ स्टेट लाइन angles on a straight line b part b part this circle is given and abc is a straight line which is touching the circle touching the circle and touching at point b so we know that the radius and this tangent are having 90 degree angle this one Angle A B D will be ninety degree. So we'll write here ninety degree, and the reason we can write tangent to the circle. Tangent to a circle is ninety degrees. To ninety degrees to radius. That's all. No question number seven. This is interesting question. Travel graph and shows part of a train journey between station A and station C. This one, and they have given part A. I will move a little up so that you can see this one. Uh, a part calculate in kilometers per hour the speed of the train between station A and B. station a and b if we check station a is over here and b is over here and this uh, distance is in between 80 and 100 so this will be 90 kilometers and distance is 90 kilometers and how much time it has taken starting from this point to this point this is half an hour and this is each box is 5 minutes so 15 minutes this one plus 30 minutes so 45 minutes total this time from this point to this point so we can divide 90 distance divided by time which is 45 and this is minutes so we'll have to change to r so multiply by 60 90 multiply by 60 and divided by 45 will be equal to Hundred and twenty kilometers per hour. Hundred and twenty kilometers per hour. The train leaves station B at fourteen forty. For how many minutes did the train stop at station B? Station B is this one. So two boxes. Each box is five minutes. So ten minutes stoppage. So we can write here ten minutes time. The train travels at a constant speed between station B and station C, arriving at fifteen twenty. B and C, arriving at fifteen twenty, fifteen ten, fifteen twenty. So, this will be the uh, time location and reaching to the. Station C will be one box down, so up to this one from this right. So this will be we will join this. So this point will be joined with this. Now this is done. this part is done uh, uh, fourth part on which part of the journey was the train traveling faster now we can check the slope uh, slope for this one is more than more than this so slope will be is more than this so it means a is steeper than b so station a between station a and b 
station A and B. A is this one, B is this one. Then next, uh, next part is on the next page. Another train leaves station C at 12.45. 12.45. So 12.30 is this one. 15 minutes we'll have to add for 12.45. So 12.45 is this one. So on this line, station C. So station C is this. So from this point, we'll have to start from this point. The another train. Another train leaves station C at 12.45. It travels to station A at a constant speed of 62 km per hour without stopping at station B without stopping at station B. Work out how long in hours and minutes this journey takes. So we'll be again calculating speed is equal to distance over time. Time is equal to distance over speed and the distance is 155 kilometers. This one, if you check this, station C is 140 and 150 and 155 so distance is equal to 155 kilometer and speed is 62 kilometers per hour just divide by 62 because it's already in hours so we can divide 155 divided by 62 will be equal to uh, 2.5 so 2.5 will have to change into time so this time button will press this is 2 hours and 30 minutes so we'll write here 2 hours and 30 minutes right on the time this train arrives at station a so we started at this time 12 45 so we, this 2 hours and 30 minutes we will add in this plus 12 hours and 45 minutes will be equal to this one, if we press time button, this will be 15 hours and 15 minutes. So we'll write here 15, 15. This will be our answer. On the grid, show the journey of this train. The journey of this train. So we will draw a line by using ruler. The one point is this one. Second point is 15, 15, 15, 15 will be... Uh, this point and we have to join this one we can join like this and we have to extend the line up to this one so this is done and find the uh, next part we can check from here on the grid show the journey of the train which we have drawn this one from C to A up to 15, uh, 15. Then they are saying find the distance from station A when the two trains pass each other. Two trains pass each other over this point. And at this point distance is 60. So we can write here 60 kilometers will be the distance. This question is also done. Now next question is question number 8 which is a telechart question. Data is provided for 24 cars on Wednesday and this data we have to convert into telechart table and if we check number of cars, 1 will be how many? We will check 1, 1, 2, 3, four five six seven and eight so we can properly we can do make one line and cut one make another line and cut this one this is not compulsory they are saying you may use you can use if you want but i'm using for your understanding two lines we have done third line will be this one so and fourth line also will cancel and we write here four and fifth line we will make line like this and then one over here next block and second line this one and third line also this one so five plus three will be eight we can write here eight
similarly uh, two we can check these are uh, uh, one and two and three and four and fifth one is this one so five in total three are one and next is this one two and next is this one three so these are three nothing else then four four is one and two over here third one also over here and fourth one over here and fifth one is this so five over here then for five we will be checking um, for five it is one this one and for six if we check this is only number remaining so one so six is only one and part second part is write on the mode mode is most occurring so mode will be for one so we'll write here one work out the range range is maximum minus minimum so six minus five six minus six minus one sorry maximum minus minimum so six minus one will be equal to five so this is equal to five next is work out the median median will be the middle value middle value will be we will check the middle value there are 24 right so 8 are 1 5 are 13 so middle value will be among these two so it will be median will be 2 then comes to calculate the mean mean will be adding uh, all the numbers and dividing it by 24 So to calculate mean, we have to multiply this with this and this with this and add them like I will write here like 1 multiplied by 8, 1 multiplied by 8, uh, I'll move a little above, okay, now this is correct, plus this will be 2 multiplied by 5, 2 multiplied by 5, plus 3 multiplied by 3, plus 4 multiply by 5 this 4 and this 5 plus 5 multiply by 2 5 multiply by 2 then 6 multiply by 1 6 multiply by 1 and divided by the total number which is 24 which is 24 so we will divide this by 24 and use calculator to solve this so this will be fraction 1 multiply by 8 plus 2 multiply by 5 plus 3 multiply by 3 plus 4 multiply by 5 plus 5 multiply by 2 plus 6 multiply by 1 Hopefully we are not doing any mistake in calculation, otherwise we will have to redo. Uh, this is 2.625, yes. So 2.625 will be our answer. This will be the mean value, 2.625. Now oh, one of these cars is chosen at random. Find the probability that the number of uh, people in the car are 4. So four people are uh, five cars. So five out of twenty-four. Five over twenty-four will be our answer. Now B part. Uh, the person has also recorded the number of people in each of twenty-four, and this is the table provided. We have to make the bar charts for this, and bar charts are easier. Just we'll have to show them. This one, 1 for 1 is given, 2 for 2 is given, so each box is for 1. And for 3 it is 5, so up to 5 will be this point. So we can make this and this one. Then 4 is 13. 13 will be up to this point. So we'll make 13 like this one 
and then 5 is 2 so 2 will be up to 2 units 2 units done then 6 is for 1 so only 1 unit like this one over here we have done now just you have to draw this line I will move a little above so that you can see this what's going on so this one and this one and this longest bar also will have to close from top this is done now write on one comparison between the frequency tables in part A1 and part 2. I will show you the part A1 again. This is the frequency table. Basically, we have to compare these two frequency tables. If we check this one, this is having highest frequency 8. So, this is on Wednesday, basically. This is data for Wednesday, this one. And this is data for Sunday. So, on... Um, on Wednesday, mode was 8. It means 8 cars were having 1 person in them. So, more people were using uh, like 1 person per car. 8 people, right? And in this, on Sunday, only, uh, like 4 are, uh, 4 persons are, 13 cars with 4 people. So this is what we will be writing in a sentence on Wednesday. I will write here so that you can understand. So on, on Wednesday, more people, people, more people drive individually individually that is eight cars or no need to mention this one is correct then on saturday more cars have four people more cars have four people so this will be our answer one more question then question uh, number nine mr razif travels by bus from singapore to kuala lumpur uh, with his wife and these are the ticket options adult is charges are this one child and then family also uh, family also given uh, i mean prices for family ticket is also given mm, work out how much mr razif saves if he buys a family ticket and one child ticket because family is comprising of uh, two adults and four children. So this is the detail. So instead of uh, like if he is going for option of family ticket and one child, then uh, because family is including two adults and three child. So one child they will have to buy for, uh, for one child another ticket. So if you are going, if they are going for this option, and if they are separately buying the tickets, what will be their um, their uh, savings? Individual, if it is individual, I will write here individual. In case of individual tickets, they will have to pay, uh, for adult, they will have to pay this fare, which is two adults. So this will be two multiplied by 32.40 and for four uh, child, ch children they have to pay this fare so 4 multiplied by 24.40 this will be equal to we can check this 2 into 32.40 plus 
plus 4 into uh, 24.40 this will be equal to um, 162.4 so 162.4 they will have to um, pay this much and in case of family in case of family option they will be paying this much amount 115 plus they will be paying for one child which is 24.40 and this will be adding up to 115 plus 24.40 this will be equal to 139.4 139.4 and then we have to subtract to check the difference how much you will be saving so 162.4 minus answer this will be equal to 23 so 23 dollars you will be saving 23 we can write as answer b part the bus leaves uh, singapore at 12:40 and arrives in kuala lumpur at 17.35 workout in hours and minutes the time this journey takes so just subtraction by uh, time button we can subtract 17 hours and 35 minutes minus 12 hours and 40 minutes and this will be equal to 4 hours and 55 minutes 4 hours and 55 minutes and for the last C part Mr. Razif changes some dollars into Mal uh, Malaysian ringgits. He receives 318 ringgits and exchange rate is this one 318 divided by the rate 4.24. So, dollars we will get 318 divided by 4.24 will be equal to 75 dollars. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and understood each and everything. If you like the video, just press bell icon button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, then you will be getting intimations also. And I'll be uploading uh, past papers as well as topic wise questions. And PDF file of this uh, solution is also provided and question is provided in the video link. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.